there's a lot of talk or speculation I guess you'd have to say in New York that when Joe Torre no longer manages the Yankees maybe Mattingly will will get the job here's Jabba Chamberlain 21 year old right hander from Lincoln Nebraska and the University of Nebraska and a 96 mile an hour fastball to Eric Hensky for a called strike Jabba Chamberlain Got a win this year against the Red Sox back on August 30th. Where the, the team got a win. He was about to get a save and was pitching for us. He's had 20 strikeouts in 16 innings in the big leagues. A sharp slider, 88 miles an hour. <laughs> that had a big break to it for such a hard pitch. Of course. You know, Cham Chamberlain threw the ball over his head twice in New York. The yes, Sox in that category. So he's among the league leaders in that category anyway. Down the left field line, fair ball. Damon plays the carom. Hensky digging for second, has a stand-up double. Looked like he was uh, not going to be around very long. Well, the first two pitches, 0-2, oh and, and then he started with the sliders. Threw him three straight sliders. And now it's three and two, and now he has to go with a Buckles, who of course threw a no-hitter in his second start, and they've got him in sort of the same position as Chamberlain in, the, in their bullpen. A good bunner, and A-Rod comes way in at third base. Running hard, he makes A-Rod field it. That's the idea. Yeah. Over to Minkiewicz. Coco Crisp does his job beautifully, very fundamentally sound, getting Pinsky over to third. The infield is in all the way around. The slider, there's a strike. That's what he's going to have to use. Now the slider, and he had him chasing it. The count is 0 2. Up that run at the plate because you have the Ellsbury coming up next, and he's been a pretty good hitter in the clutch for him. So you give yourself a chance. He's a left-handed hitter. You give yourself a chance to drive men if you want. So he's not going on a ground ball right now. I don't think somewhere. so. Not if, if it's not chopped. Yeah, we won't worry about it. The fastball blows him away. But he hasn't had to do it against Jabba Chamberlain. There's a big slider on the outside corner. Comes back with a fastball or something away. Now he throws him a high fastball and comes back with another one. And he's the Red Sox phenom from the minors. Look out. 98 miles an hour, but it was ejected from that game. Goes up and in again, and a check swing by Ellsbury, and a foul. See the target on the inside part of the plate? Back inside again. That almost hit him with the slider. And he rips that one foul. Play. See the target again is in. Everything is inside. They want to stay in tight on him, and that's the slider in. Game. Right up the first base line. And Minkiewicz yeah. just did beat him. <laughs> Jabba Chamberlain now is in the lineup. Hitting ninth, so they've lost the designated hitter for the rest of this game. Well, Jorge Posada said he was ready to play anyway, so I guess Joe Torre, he was deciding he could give him a rest from the, the collision yesterday, and he just needed, you know, some time off. But obviously, this is a big game for the Yankees to stay in this race because, as Joe said earlier, anything can happen. The team can lose four or five games in a row, and we could win four or five in a row. So if that's they, what he's counting on. If they lose, they'd be only a game and a half ahead right. of Detroit in that wild card division. So Jabba Chamberlain with a first pitch strike to Dustin Pedroia fading uh, almost daily over 300. In fact all three of them hitting well over 300 is Pedroia has to, to duck. They need some hits. They need some runs. A slider off the outside. Tampa Bay's had an excellent year. That strike three called. Pedroia is gone. And that was a curveball. He's thrown some sliders but that was a curveball. Kind of came over the top a little bit more. And watch, see the release over the top a little more. Bigger break. A little more downward action. Right there, that's a curveball straight over the top. Beautiful pitch. Just don't go out there. David Ortiz, a 99 mile an hour fastball off the outside. 
Roger Clemens. Clemens cannot get the win. He went six innings, one unearned run, and two hits allowed is all. Fastball, a little bit low, two and out, a big poppy. Oh. Johnny Damon. Two down. Top starter. And they brought him along as a starter. They've developed him to be a starter. Although the Red Sox were bringing Papelbon. Jonathan Papelbon along to be a starter as Lowell launches one way back there. Goodbye. But the home run comes with nobody on. Four to two Yankees and that is the first earned run allowed in the career of Jabba Chamberlain. Up and, and watch how Lowell gets on top of it. See, that's even out of the strike zone, but he's able to get on top of it, get his hands up, and level it out. Because it's just the one run. The Red Sox are still two runs down. Allow Pedroia or Ortiz to get on base. He didn't walk anybody. It was, I think, a key there. Mariano Rivera, the great Rivera, getting ready now in the Yankees bullpen. 2 0 the count to J.D. Drew. Playing wall ball more than any other Red Sox by far. And a foul off to the left by Drew, who was 0 for 3 in this game. Back in the first. Drew's been a hot hitter lately. Curveball. Strike three call. Chamberlain. Two innings in relief. It's four to two Yankees as we go to the ninth. Posada coming up.